distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Let me start by thanking Almighty God for making it possible for us to be here. And also thank our leaders and members of our party, the NMPP. I'm sure you are all aware of the style of our campaign. We are going around from local government to local government, to, from village to village, from city to city. I'm so happy that today we are familiar with the sufferings, with the difficulties that our brothers and sisters across the country are suffering. Let me also thank you so much, one, for joining the party, two, by being very committed members. Anybody who is here, both those of us inside and the majority that are outside, are committed members of the party and even those who could not make it to this place. Please keep on moving. Keep on working hard. The job is not an easy one. But by the grace of God and determination of our members, come 25th of February, this country will elect a presidential candidate, senatorial candidate, and the House of Representatives candidate of NNPP. We are so lucky that this party, this party, in the last 10 months, we are just at a lower level. Today, by the grace of God, NNPP is the party to beat in this country. Everybody knows that PDP plus APC are one and the same failed parties. What we have today is our party which is national. We have a national party being represented in every nooks and corners of this country. Being represented at all levels right from the world level right to the national level. It's represented not only by Christians and Muslims, even with other religions across the country. So we thank Almighty God for having this great party for us members and of course for Nigerians. Nigeria, especially democracy, would have been a very difficult one without NNPP because the choice would have been between the bad and the very bad that we have in this country. So we thank Almighty God, especially those of us who are politicians, who are looking to aspire for positions. Those parties are being hijacked by cabals. They sit down at the comfort of their city rooms and decide who becomes what. And they will impose those people over and above the people of this country. Now we have got a party that is party friendly to the masses of this country. It's friendly to the people who are struggling to earn a living. People who believe that this country should be much stronger, much united, and of course, much more prosperous than we are seeing today. Today in this country, all the difficulties that we are seeing are being manufactured by PDP and APC. And I'm happy that Nigerians have accepted this party as way out. In the past, we have political contractors who would go to Abuja and bring in a candidate and then come back and de decree in their locality, in their state, that this is the candidate. And people have no option 
other than tomorrow. This time, I believe in this dispensation, for the first time, we have people, credible people, from presidential candidates down to state assembly candidates who are good quality, who have the capacity, who have the integrity to lead this country. Here with us, we have all our candidates, our gubernatorial candidates. We have three times six senatorial candidates. And of course, all our members of the House of Reps and State Assembly members. And we carefully sat down and agreed to ensure that we don't have bad eggs as candidates in our party. And therefore, we can be rest assured that on the election day, just go and ask our agents, because we have agents in each and every polling post in this country. Probably we are the only party that downloaded that. So if you go there, I'm sure you know our logo. Our logo is a basket of fruits in the middle of this country, inside the map of this country. So take note of that. So when you go from top to bottom, you should ask for our party. And that is the party that by this, by the grace of God, will ensure that we are out of this terrible insecurity, serious economic crisis, dilapidated infrastructure, and all sorts of issues that we are facing today. Worse is even the unity. Today, you can hear people complaining on the issue of ethnicity, or religion, or region, and so on and so forth. So I'm so happy that today we are here celebrating our gubernatorial, senatorial, and other candidates, not only in this state, not only in our state, but across the southwestern Nigeria. So I say congratulations to our candidates here. And especially, I want to thank all those who organized this one. And thank all of you. Everybody is here on his own. Unlike those rallies we see, which every member must be paid money from so-so time to so-so time. If they are late, everybody will desert and leave the stadium. Here, we have an organic rally where everybody brought himself or herself on their own. They said we don't have money. We may not have money, but we have the people. And it is not the money that will go and vote. It is not their posters. I'm sure you have gone around the cities, the towns, and villages. Today, as we stand, local government chairmen in this country are doing nothing except banners, accept putting posters and so on and so forth. That's all what they do. They're not talking of water supply. They're not talking of education. Almost all our primaries, if you go today in this country, both north and south are dilapidated. You will get at least one building that is terribly dilapidated. And that is why in our blueprint, we decided to take the issue of security education, infrastructure, drugs, and so on and so forth, very, very serious. We want to have a society, we want to have a Nigeria where each and every one of us will be proud of. We want a Nigeria where there is justice, equity, and fairness. We want a Nigeria where each and every child can aspire to go to the highest level in this country. We want Nigeria where all of us in the country and even those in diaspora will be proud of us, will be proud of this country. Those who have left us because of bad leadership, I am sure with NNPP in government, they will all come back. Those who are warming up now to leave the country, I'm sure with the NNPP in power, they will contribute their own quota towards the development of this country. 